me, sir. From the way you're dressed and your general aura of seediness, I can infer only one thing. You're heading for Tannen's speakeasy. Am I right? Uh, no. At least you possess enough shame to lie about it. Unfortunately, I don't have the power to stop you, but I beg you to tarry here a few more seconds and listen to my song. Me, 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 me. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. <laughs> what in heaven's name? Oh, sorry, Miss Strickland. Just a little experimental prototype gone momentarily awry. Mr. Brown! Why is there a dog in that vehicle? Why? Well, well, to advance the human condition, of course. Hello, Mike. Mike? Mr. Corleone, what are you doing in that getup? I'm going undercover. How exciting! You'll have to give me an exclusive sometime. Right now, I've got some souls to save. And you'll have to get an eyeful of my newest experiment. You're not angry about the rocket drill? Water over the bridge. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Come by the gazebo when you get a chance. I'll be setting up. You won't believe what Ine and I have been up to. Famous last words. All right. Now, where's that speakeasy? Hey, Edna. Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Would you like to hear it again? Uh, sure. I knew if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. You should care. What people think of you. A goal that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. If your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue, for you should care. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's, uh, got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight. Who sent you? Ulysses S. Grant. What did you bring me? Meat and potatoes. What's the word? Words are for wimps. Who is the King of Siam? Am I? What will you do if I let you inside? Sidle up to your boss? Where did you come from? From Russia, uh, with love. Welcome to L Kid, sir.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to once again present the hottest little number this side of the Rockies. And when I say my pleasure, I think you all know what I'm talking about, am I right? So let's have a big L-Kid welcome for the one, the only, Trixie Trotter. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense. But I don't care. Out of my way, kid. I got some sorrows to drown. I am my own superintendent. My star is on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What people think I Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, uh, we met. You look my failure. Nah. Well, stranger, sit down and have a drink on me. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles? Buddy, nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Want to talk about them? Do, do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car... Every morning, every 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 evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, now about those troubles. Oh, I don't want to wallow in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer, don't See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm supposed to get this guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? There's nothing surer. The rich get rich and the poor get children. In the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't be blue. All your fears are foolish, Betsy. Maybe you know, dear. Danny, that I'm in you. Love with you. So bad and those troubles. It all started on uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist when not one but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. Because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty? As in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. See you later, Danny. I'll be here. Let me breathe you some. 
soft and clear. Don't make it for tea. Danny. You. You've got a secret? What is it? Oh, yeah. My secret. Well, you're my pal, so I can tell you. But don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and ten make sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? There's nobody near. No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? Artie McFly, hasn't he been missing for two months? That's true, and all signs point to a tannin job. Oh God, I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. What have I done? <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Hey. Nice suit. Where'd you get it? Costume shop at the mall. Uh, I, I had it custom made. Yeah? Quality material. Who are you? Where are you from? The name's, uh, Michael Corleone. Nobody. I mean, you don't know me. I, I come from a, a very different place. Come on. What's the dope? Spill it, or I'll go easy, kid. From the cut of the suit, I'm thinking he might be with the Valenti gang. Is that so? Uh, yes? Prove it. You ain't leaving till you show me some boner fides. I've got a little something here that might convince you. Don't. Even blink. It's not a real gun. It's not a real gun, I swear. It's a gift from Don Valenti. See? To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. Looks like little Mikey Corleone here really is with the Sacramento boys. You got stones, Pee-wee. I like that. Have yourself a drink. On the house. Matches. Put down your gun. You look like a moron. <sighs> He's back. Edna, what? Do you think I could have a copy of your You Should Care lyrics? I've, uh, got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. See ya. Keep fighting the good fight.